Hey everyone, David here with Headset Advisor, and today we are going to show you how to create a team in Microsoft Teams. Now before we begin, this uh, um, headset that I'm using is optimized for Microsoft Teams, so if you're looking for a headset that uh, will work with Microsoft Teams, getting you to sound good, this is one worth considering. I'll put a link in the description. This is a Plantronics Voyager 4220, and my voice is actually coming through this microphone right now, so you can uh, hear what it sounds like from a customer's perspective on how they hear your voice. Well, let's dive into showing you how to create a team in Microsoft Teams right now. So let me just share my screen here. Okay, so what you're looking at here is the Microsoft Teams user interface. On the left-hand side of your screen, you see activity, you see chat, um, and then you have this section called Teams. And this is a group of your teams that you want to create. I have created a private group as well as a public group. And to create a new team, you just go on to the bottom. It says join or create a team here. So click that. Then you're going to see uh, this create a team or you can join a team. If you have a code for another team that you wanna join, you could enter it there. Otherwise, just go to create team. Now you can do it from a template that you see down here or you can go from scratch. Now there's three different types of groups or teams that you can do. Private being um, that you need to manually add each person and give them permission to join. Two is public, which means anybody in your organization can actually join the group, but um, they actually have to go and find it in order to join it. Or the third one is uh, everybody forced into this team. So it could be a company-wide um, team that you could do company updates, you could do order updates, whatever you wanna do. So let's say this one is a private group. And let's just say this is our developers here. The team is developers, and then I get that nice emoji. Woo, nice work. Now I don't have anybody else on my uh, Teams platform, so I can't add anybody, but you, can, you have set up probably um, other people on your Teams account, or you have set up uh, groups of people on your uh, teams instance. So you would just add them to your uh, your developers team right here. So you would type in their name or the group distribution group name. But we're going to skip that because we don't have anybody to add. Now you see this name general. This is a channel within the, the developers uh, team. So you might break it down to maybe uh, Maybe you have website versus applications or different ways you wanna break out that team. You can do that by adding a channel on the team. So let's just say this is website. So anybody related to uh, the website would get added to this channel and you can do specific communications, you can do posts, or you can even meet with the people uh, that are responsible for developing that website. And you can do a little new conversation here. Hello, website team. And then everybody can communicate freely in this uh, nice user interface channel specifically for websites. So you're not cluttering up the whole general um, topic here. So that's a quick way to um, create a team in Microsoft Teams, very helpful way. So please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as we're constantly putting out uh, content relating to headsets, to conference phones, to business communication software such as Microsoft Teams, RingCentral, giving you all the tips and tricks absolutely free. So hit that subscribe button. Other than that, I really appreciate you tuning in to uh, this video. Hope you found it helpful. And if you have any questions, put it in the comments below. We respond to every single comment, and it's greatly appreciated. 
So that's all for now. I hope you found this video helpful and have a great rest of your day.